Yo, what's up, bitch? Scarlet and Violet is out. That is not my intro in the slightest. <laughs> oh, no. Hiya, my name is Poke King, but you can just call me King. And today we are opening the Scarlet and Violet base set. We are opening an entire booster box of Scarlet and Violet. I'm so excited to dig into these cards. I've been thinking about it all day. Uh, so I honestly think we're just gonna jump right into the video. If you don't know about the Scarlet and Violet uh, Pokemon cards that are coming out, so the Scarlet and Violet base set, basically this is the new generation of Pokemon cards and there is a lot of different things with the Pokemon cards, a lot of changes that were made to it. And um, yeah, that's what we're gonna see today. Let me try to actually pop this up. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh yes, we are ready to rock. I'm so excited to open up these packs. Like y'all have no idea. Y'all have no idea when I tell you that I literally had like a dream about opening them yesterday. <laughs> so I'm very excited to dig into these. I've already kind of seen what is in store for a lot of the cards and what the pull rates look like. Um, I've watched other PokeTubers kind of open this set already, so I have a general idea of what I'm getting into here. So I'm very excited to see what we managed to pull today. Uh, so yeah, let's just honestly get right into it. So this is our first pack we're gonna start off with here. And there's a couple of things that you'll actually notice with this pack, because this is gonna be a completely new generation of Pokemon cards, so there are some changes that I mentioned before. So let's kind of get into it. So the first change that you'll notice is the code cards are actually, they don't mean anything. So if you get a black border code card, it doesn't mean that you have like a rare in there. And if you get a white border code card, it doesn't mean that you don't have a rare in there. They pretty much mean nothing. <laughs> so you can't kind of figure out your packs like that anymore. Another thing that's new is that there is no more card trick. So you, their last, your last card is just going to be an energy. And then this is going to be your rare card right here. So we don't have to do a pack trick anymore. And then the last thing that you'll notice is all of the cards now have a silver border instead of a yellow border. So that's another thing that's different. So there's just lots of differences <laughs> with these cards. Um, so let's go through this here. We got all different artworks for all of the different cards. They all look so good. I love the Dash Bun. Dash Bun is on my team in uh, Violet, and I just love it so much. I love Dash Bun and Fido. Another thing you'll notice, so this is gonna be, so there's actually gonna be two reverses in a pack. So this is one reverse here that we have, and you can see that there's a new pattern for the reverse hollows. And then we actually get another reverse. So there's two reverses. And then lastly, the last thing that you'll notice is that you're guaranteed to have at least a hollow pull in every one of these packs. So no more getting non-hollow rares, nothing like that. You're always gonna get a hollow. So it looks like our first hollow is a Houndstone, which I also have on my team in Violet. Fun fact about my team in Violet, actually, I have five dogs and one cat. That's my team. <laughs> So I have a Meowscrata because I picked Sprigatito as my starter Pokemon. And then I have a Houndstone. Oh look, there we have a Sprigatito, just as I said it. That's amazing. That's like a high level of manifestation. So let me just say Golden Maridon, Golden Maridon, Golden Maridon. Maybe we'll get it at some point. Um, but yeah, my team is, it's uh, Meowscrata, uh, Sylveon, uh, Lycanroc, Houndstone, Fido, and uh, yeah, I think, oh, and um, Mabostiff. Those, those are my, that's my team in Pokemon Violet. Uh, so yeah, five dogs and a cat. Okay, we got another reverse here, Charcadet. And we got a hollow gay duck man. He looks so great. He's honestly fabulous. No offense to like anybody who might like Quaxley and you know, the entire evolution line of Quaxley. They kind of did him dirty <laughs> with that final e evolution. Like, it's all right. I don't mind it. I like the inclusion of <laughs> Gay Duck Man. <laughs> but I just honestly... Oh, this isn't focusing. 
there you go sorry about that i don't know i just don't know how to feel about the evolution line i personally think that sprigatito's evolution line is probably the nicest Fue coco is a close second for sure uh but yeah quaxley's just they did him so dirty oh my bad sorry i should uh, i should actually say i hate bipedal cats i can't believe we have another bipedal cat oh no oh we got something here Ooh, our first ex card so we got a spidops ex so the ex cards actually look different they're very reminiscent of like back in the day like diamond and pearl platinum era i think had ex cards that looked like this but they are slightly different because they have this like sparkly tone to them which is super super cool moving on to our next pack also there i saw a couple of poketubers also saying that like the actual packs feel very stiff and like thicker like the packaging and i can confirm they really do they really do like it's it's a little difficult to actually open them it's it's very strange all right let's go we're getting a lot of the new Pokemon in here, which is cool. A lot of the, the Gen 9. Oh, a nice Lucario coming in. It's a Titan. And then a Hollow Cloth. He looks so derpy. It's actually hilarious. <laughs> I love Cloth. Cloth is cool. So I have seen that the pull rates on this are really good. I'm hoping that I get some good pulls. Uh, we're not, like, we haven't really put a dent into this just yet. So I'm not going to, like, be worried or, you know, have my hopes down or anything like that um, so far. <laughs> but, yeah, I've seen that the pull rates for this set are actually really, really good. So I'm super excited to see what we get today. Especially because this is my first time opening up an entire booster box usually i just get like packs here and there but entire booster box is very new to me oh we got professor turo looking so fine daddy sorry daddy sorry <laughs> i really want the full art card of professor turo but i'm really happy that we got like just the hollow card right away that's pretty awesome also, definitely out of focus here, but I have a lot of cards just sitting around. I might, like, stop to clean them up at some point. <laughs> but I honestly, I'm just trying to get through those because I know that we have so many packs to get through. I'll probably, like, go a little bit faster as we get going and I have less to talk about. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> there's just a mess. I'm sorry. Just enjoy the mess. We got another hollow card there. Palmot. Is that how you say that? I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I just, I try my best to pronounce Pokemon names properly, but I fuck up so easily. <laughs> oh, this pack does not want to open. See, you see every single pack that I'm opening has a black border code card. So from what I've seen, apparently the borders on the code cards literally mean nothing. Flamigo. Rocky Helmet, Acrylia Reverse, Pachirisu Reverse. I love Pachirisu. And we got a Rever Room Hollow card. So yeah, you can see the, the least that you can get is actually a Hollow, which I'm interested to see what that does for the Pokemon like market in regards to buying and selling cards and stuff like that. Because obviously, if we're guaranteed to get a Hollow, I'm assuming that the sorry the prices for the hollow are gonna go down so i'm interested to see what that does to the pokemon economy <laughs> oh we got a jacques card i love jacques so much i hope we get a full art jacques as well floor gato a zangoose oh a maridon so this is the first maridon card that we get first legendary card that we have and it's a reverse wug trio Ooh. <laughs> Nice! We got a full art card already? That's amazing! So it's Oinkaloin EX, full art. And this is another new thing. There's so many new things about this set. Like, they've changed so many things from, like, Pokemon cards, even from the Sword and Shield era. Um, but you can see at the bottom here, if my camera will focus. Apparently not. Okay, so you can see at the bottom there, there's two 
kind of silver stars or like hollow stars on this card. So all of the rarities now are different. I don't know them right off the top of my head because um, I don't have like some of the, the ETBs and stuff like that come with like the little booklet that tell you what all of those different rarities mean. So we still have our commons that have like the circle at the bottom. And then we have our uncommons that have the diamond. Um, I don't know if I have a rare card. Oh yes, our hollows. So here would be our rare cards with the black star. And then it kind of moves up from there. So you might get something that has one star, two star, and like the art rares and the alternate art rares and the gold cards and the full arts all have different rarity symbols. So it is definitely a lot different <laughs> than other Pokemon sets. Um, I'm so sorry that I don't know all of the information about it. Ooh, I saw, sorry, I'm, I'm getting distracted, but I saw this Mabo Stiff artwork on Twitter and I love it so much. It looks so cool. Spirit Tombs in the set. Interesting, interesting. A uh, reverse hollow Sprigatito and a Cyclozar. There he is with his silly little wheel in his neck. <laughs> Also, I'm curious to hear what everybody's thoughts are about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I keep on seeing like very mixed feelings and mixed reviews about the game. I haven't even done my full review of the game because I'm very torn with it. <laughs> so I've been kind of pushing that off and procrastinating it for a while. But I'm sure eventually I'm going to be... Ooh, I got a Penny card. Penny is such a nice character. She was so chill. <laughs> Anyways, um... I'm gonna oh we got <laughs> we got a reverse penny card. Alright. <laughs> um hold on, I'm just gonna okay, yeah, we already got this, but yeah, another rare card. Um No, what I was gonna say is I'm very torn with the Scarlet and Violet game. So I did play Violet. I really enjoyed it, but I had a lot of problems with it at the same time. So I've really been putting it off, and I know that I'll probably eventually do a review and like do a proper video on it but it's just something that's in the works oh we got an arvin nice nice i will say i loved all of the characters in the game oh we got a skeledurge a hollow skeledurge so pretty muy bonito skeledurge uh yeah no i, I really like the characters in the game so that's one plus that i had I, I can't even open this. The, the, the plastic that these packs are in is very, very strong. I just hit my camera. This guy looks ridiculous. <laughs> some of, I will say some of the new Pokemon look really, really stupid. Oh, okay, so we got our first art rare. Oh, we got a double hitter in this. Nice, nice, nice. We got an EX Bayonet. Bayonet is one of my favorite Pokemon ever, so I'm super excited about that. And then we got a, um, well, an illustration rare. I think that's what they're called now. There's no more, like, gallery. Like, it's not called Galarian Gallery or Trainer Gallery. They're just called illustration rares. So we got an illustration rare cloth. Look at them all climbing on the mountains like that. So cute. And this bayonet looks fucking sick, actually. <laughs> Yo, I'm so excited. He's like using Shadow Ball or something. Also, I don't know if in like post when I edit, if I'm going to have actual prices for any of these cards that I'm pulling. Just because this set is so new, I feel like the information that we have for the actual prices of these cards isn't very accurate. So I probably won't have prices pop up on the screen. But I mean... Maybe I'll post some of them later on at some point once we get some better data and everything like that. Oh, these <laughs> holding these cards too tight. And we got a hollow and a nil. Oh no. See, this is where it like the, the pronunciation comes out because I don't know how to say a lot of these Pokemon names because I just say them in my head and I'm just like, yeah, I'm sure that's fine. But, <laughs> but I'm saying it wrong. Like, I've read this in my head in the game as. Annihilate, in annihilate, <laughs> annihilate. <laughs> I don't think that's how you say that. <laughs> but my brain just does that. Even with like books, if I see a character's name, I'm like, uh, I just kind of 
get like I make a guess <laughs> and then that's just their name he asked me to talk about something like that out loud and outside of my head and it's it's very embarrassing I'm so sorry and I can't read on the best of days so yeah anyways we'll move on I'll have to clean this up at some point in the middle of this video once we finish this side I'll clean it all up And there's our Klefki, our rare Klefki. Klefki is... Klefki is kind of stupid. <laughs> is that a hot take? Do people like Klefki? I don't remember. I literally don't know. The only Pokemon that I know a lot of people like and like will die for is Charizard. And you know what? You live your life, you like Charizard, but Charizard fans are a whole other breed, bro. <laughs> I'm not saying it. Ooh, mascara. Um, I'm not saying anything bad about Charizard fans because I don't want to get like murdered. <laughs> but y'all, y'all, y'all will die for Charizard, and you know what? That's fair. I I respect it to a point. So yeah, that's all I have to say. Oh, we got we got um the other Fido art actually just a little bit ago. It's lost in this pile somewhere. How are y'all feeling about these silver borders, by the way? Like, I think they look pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure how I feel about them. I am going to miss the yellow borders because that's just like nostalgic, right? You know what I mean? And I feel like the silver borders definitely do match the... Whoa! <laughs> Sorry. They definitely do match the cards a little bit more, but I don't know how to feel about it. Picnic basket that looks delicious. And there's a halucha. I like I like halucha. Halucha looks cool. We're just about done with this uh, left side here. So once I'm done with the left side, I'll probably clean up some of this mess that I have because there's there is a mess. <laughs> and um, yeah, I mean like so far we've gotten of course a lot of hollows. We got an art illustration. Uh, oh, there's a Nimona card. You know what I'm actually mad about? I haven't seen any full art Nimona cards being announced anywhere. Where is my girl? Where is the main bitch of the game? I love her so much, and there's no full art card of her. And I don't know if that's something that they're gonna come in, like, come into play later. They're really gonna, like, wait and hype it up or whatever, but, like, no! Where is Nimona? Oh, shit! Oh, my God, bro! <laughs> Yo, am I just pulling this? Like, oh, okay, hold on. I have a lot to say. Hold on a minute. I need to compose myself. I was like mad and now I'm like, what the freak? This needs going to sleep. What am I doing? Okay, first of all, mommy, sorry. Mommy, sorry. <laughs> okay, I know that y'all didn't see this because I did this off camera when I was like coming home. Uh, and when I was like walking into my front door, I was like, you know, it'd be really cool if I pulled that alternate artwork, like Jacques card. Like that's the only thing I wanted. I was like, I think that that would be really cool because I love Jacques and there's other cards in the set that I want to pull. But I literally thought about this one specifically when I walked into the door, I was like, oh, I want that Jacques card, man. He looks so cool. He's like sleeping on the, the desk. It's adorable. And I was like, yeah, this is the card I want. How we freaking pull this? <laughs> just out of nowhere i was really like lulling myself into a sense of just like oh yeah we're just going through the pack now nah, th this boy come out of nowhere <laughs> oh i love it so much and like i'm sweating <laughs> but the texture on it is super cool it almost looks like graffiti spray or something like that like it's very sparkly this card looks amazing oh my god this is going right on my freaking babe shelf i'm gonna clean this up a little bit because there's like a lot of cards everywhere and then we will jump right back into the video so i'm gonna cut here just for a second girl i'm trying my hardest to clean this up it's like not working y'all should see what i'm doing like i'm literally just moving the pile to another area <laughs> it's the same freaking messy pile just move to another area so I can deal with it later just like how I deal with all of my life problems <laughs> all right well with that being done and everything being cleared we will move on to our 
next side of the box here. So that Jacques card, um, it was a two star rarity. So the, the one that is the like the hyper rare, I think it's called, is going to be like our gold card. So any of the gold cards are going to have the three stars on them. And those are going to be our hyper rare cards. So I'm interested to see if we get one of those in this box or not. Um, I, I was very confused because these reverse hollows don't really look like reverse hollows. Like you can see a shine on them, but it's very faint, which is very strange. So I didn't know that was even a reverse hollow and I got confused there. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I'm very curious to see if we actually get a gold card or like a hyper rare card in this. From what I saw other YouTubers doing, and when I say other YouTubers, I mean PokeRev. <laughs> He's the, the one that I've seen actually open this set before. Um, I saw that he, he did get a secret rare, like the hyper rare in one of the booster boxes. So I'm wondering if that's just like normal for booster boxes or if he just had really good luck or something. I don't know. Wow, I just, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm going to try to just be a little bit faster with some of these just because we still have a lot of packs to go through. So don't mind me if I'm kind of just like flying through this. And uh, yeah, we got a hit in this one. That's a Toxic Crow EX. We're getting a lot of EX cards. I'm going to be real because we, we have what? We have three. We have the Spide Ops, the Bayonet, and now Toxic Crow. There he is. He looks so cool. What are y'all thoughts about the... The, uh, what are y'all thoughts about the EX cards replacing like the V cards? Cause I don't think we're going to get any V star cards anymore. I think it's just going to be the EX ones moving forward. So curious to see if you're like excited for that change. Personally, I love the EX cards a lot. So I'm very excited for that change. I'm very excited that we're getting EX cards back. Cause that's kind of what I like grew up with. So it's very nostalgic for me. So I am very excited to have those cards back. Yeah, I'm just kind of, oh, we got a reverse Arvin and a Coridon Hollow. We haven't gotten a Maridon Hollow. I know we got a Maridon Reverse Hollow. We haven't gotten a Maridon Hollow yet, which is interesting. And out of Coridon and Maridon, Maridon is definitely my favorite. That's one of the reasons I picked Violet. So I'm going to be a little upset if we don't get a Hollow Maridon, but you know, it is what it is. Oh shit, we got another, <laughs> we got another full art EX card? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, that's amazing. OMG, I'm very excited. This is great. Look at this. And it's an EX Bayonet. I fucking love Bayonet, bro. I'm so excited. Yo, we get in a lot of pulls. Like we, we honestly are getting some really fire pulls right now, which is sick. I know we're getting, we were getting a lot of hollows <laughs> for a while. We still, I'm still getting, oh, there's Miriam, the waifu of the set. I'm very like curious if the, oh, okay. I have, I have a lot of things <laughs> I'm trying to say at once again. I'm just gonna finish my thought. I'm very curious if the alternate art Miriam card is gonna be worth like $800 in the English set because it is in the Japanese set uh, because of the waifu tax and shit like that. But uh, yeah, I'm very curious about that. I love the slow bro artwork. Um, but besides that, we got a art rare of Fido and he's looking in the window <laughs> at a bunch of other bread, which is maybe a little haunting. <laughs> like that's a bit weird, right? Cause he's, he's made out of bread. Is it like canonical that people eat Fido? I know that in the anime, there was like this one clip that I always see of like Ash thinking about eating a Magikarp or something like that. But is that like actually true? Like would they just go and eat Fido or Lechonk or something like that or? Or what? Like, I'm curious. I want to know. What are your thoughts? <laughs> tell me in the comments. I think I've asked so many freaking questions. Like, tell me in the comments this and that. Honestly, just go in the comments and put, like, the freaking sad emoji. Because <laughs> that's how I vibe. That's me right now. 
Well, no, that's actually not me right now because I'm very happy with the pools that we got. But that's me like on a regular basis. That or that emoji of like the guy running away. That's me on a regular basis. If you know what I'm talking about, I'll put it up on the screen for you. But that's me all the time running away from my problems. All right, let's see. We got a cloth hollow. I feel, see, I'm being lulled back into that sense of like nothing is happening. We're getting a lot of hollow hits. I'm, you know, golden Maridon, golden Maridon, golden Maridon. He's Beetlejuice. If you say it three times, he'll appear. <laughs> oh, geez. Oh, I've got another. Do I have all of the EXs? I don't know how many EXs are in this set, but I didn't think it was like that many. So we got another EX card. Got the Magnazone EX, which is whack, bro. We are getting a lot of EX cards. I'm going to look it up after this video and just see exactly how many EX cards I actually have, as opposed to how many are in the set. Because I really don't know how many are in the set, but we pulled four, I think, which is like wild. Oh, we got a reverse Katie, a Skiddo. Oh, there we go. Look at that. <laughs> Mariadon Hollow. He looks so sick. I love Mariadon. Okay, I pulled this one from the back. So maybe this has last pack luck, even though it's not our last pack. Who knows? Also, sorry if I'm going like really fast with the code cards. <laughs> like I said, I'm just trying to get this uh, like done very fast. Hopefully you're able to see kind of the artworks and stuff like that. We are down to our last four packs. Yeah, this is the pack number four of our last packs here. Again, Golden Mariadon or full art Professor Toro. That would be nice. Any of those, even the alt art Miriam, like even if it's not going to go for a hundred or eight hundred dollars, still kind of want to pull that. We got a Mascarada Hollow. Oh, I lied again. I did bad math. That was pack number five. So this is actually pack number four. Sometimes I can't count because <laughs> I'm a dumbass, as we've established many, many, many times. Oh my god. These cards feel very thick. That's another thing. Oh shit, we got the Gyarados EX. This is actually a two-star rarity. I think the other EXs were only like a one-star rarity. But this is like a terastalized Gyarados. So this is terastalized Gyarados EX. This guy looks fucking cool. <laughs> That's awesome. We've gotten so many EXs. So many EXs. All right, this is pack. Whoa, what the fuck? This is a blank code card. What? <laughs> I've never seen this in my life. There's not even like any ink on it that's like faded or, or anything. This is just a straight up blank code card. Sorry, folks. I don't really know what that was about. That's really weird. I guess this pack just doesn't have a code card. My apologies. <laughs> I don't know. That's very strange. And we got a Cyclozar. See, the hollows aren't really... They're not really doing it for me. <laughs> because I know that, you know, we just get a hollow in every pack. So I'm kind of just like over it already which is a, a little sad but and a hollow skeleton which i think we got already all right everyone this is the last pack of the scarlet and violet booster box that i have please <laughs> let there be something really cool in here <laughs> Even though we got, we already got, I think we got like pretty much what the pull rates are. Like we got a lot of stuff, um, but you know, I'm still just, just like hoping that it's, it's got something good. It put the watch. I just fucking jinxed it. <laughs> I promise. Oh, uh, it's stuck. Okay. All right. 
Moment of truth. Oh, it starts off with a pneumonia. Too bad we don't have a full art pneumonia. Apparently we're not allowed to. <laughs> And, okay, we got a regular hollow. What did I call this? Annihilate? <laughs> is that how you say it? Annihilate? Maybe that is how you say it. I have no idea. Another thing, comment down below if that's how you say that Pokemon's name. Just to kind of give you a summary of what we pulled today, here are our pulls. Um, the EX cards, the full art cards, all of that stuff is here. So that's pretty cool. Um, also, I do want to correct myself. I said that the... Gyarados was one with like the two star rarity, but the other EXs didn't have two star rarities. They actually did. Um, I just didn't notice that. Uh, so that's my bad. But yes, here are our pulls today. And then here's our secret rare. So this is going to be like our secret rare for this box. And I think that every box has like one secret rare. No gold cards though. So that might mean that I have to open up more of this, <laughs> more of this set. Um, so let me know in the comments if you want me to open up more of this set or just kind of wait out until triplet beat no it's not called triplet beat in english it's called paldea evolving or paldea evolved or something like that let me know if you just want me to wait until that set comes out and i could do another booster box opening or if you want me to open up some products with the scarlet and violet base set uh to try to get some gold cards um I don't really know <laughs> what I want to do, so please tell me in the comments. So that's going to do it for today's video. If you liked the video, of course, leave me a like. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that silly stuff uh, to support me and my channel. I would really appreciate it. And I hope that you just have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Up by and no, that's really bad. Why do I never know how to do my outro? Oh my god!